Welcome to News Alert on Capital Television. Whilst many boast of having fond memories of their childhood because of the privileged upbringing they received, a lot more cares the day they were born because of challenges they had to grapple with. Aside being fed well, a nourished child can be one who receives tuition at school, receives the love and support from family relations as well as lives in an environment free from fear, violence, abuse and exploitation. In Ghana, it is not rare to see children selling on the streets because of the inability of their parents to cater for them, but lately, children who attend school help out by selling on the streets while on vacation. The unfortunate ones, however, loiter or wander about on the streets chasing moving vehicles in a bid to get money for feeding. Aside street selling, others beg for alms to survive often migrating from one city to the other. A national survey shows that out of an estimated population of 6.4 million children between the ages of 5 and 7, 2.5 million are engaged in economic activities. The minimum age for children to work legally in Ghana is 16. However, more than 26% of children between 5 and 14 work illegally. Young sellers Capital TV interacted with say, although they wish to have the little luxuries of life, Economic hardships mean they have little choice than to continue to hawk till their fortunes change. Ma kwa ene na me sa se se meton. Me ana e ya me tine fia me si me nye bibi ana me se meton wa de na ye bi esku a me me tumi di bi a so me ma me si na kaya de atom mi bu si ne ye ne ma ma ye. Kos ku me pon a ya me beton na ya ma kwa ense ya me ba. Se traffic ne so na kwa ne eji ne ma ya me si lo se kan ne ba. I'm just selling some credit to get money so that when school reopens, I'll be able to get some amount of money for school. Sometimes you can make 10 CD a day or it depends on the way they buy the things. Every society has norms, customs and laws governing conduct. However, business interest at times overrides the obvious. One such industry making billions annually, despite enormous harm posed to consumers, is the alcoholic beverage industry. Despite campaigners call for ads of alcohol beverages on television and other media forms to be pulled down, the beverage bosses continue to lure first-timers to taste their beverages, whilst keeping an eye on the alcohol veterans through rebates and other sales techniques. Alcohol abuse is defined as a maladaptive pattern of substance used leading to clinically significant impairment or distress. Despite the health implications, the social stimulant continues to be used at birthdays, funerals, marriage ceremonies and other social events. The threat takes a different dimension when people abuse alcohol and become dependent such that they neglect their social responsibilities to their family, community and state. The scars of alcohol abuse can be physical, emotional and psychological. Regrettably, a drunkard falling in a gutter and vomiting, even easing openly in clothes, have become common sightings. Dr. Andre Kwesikuma, a medical doctor, shared insights into the health implications of abusing alcohol. The alcohol will be abused when one goes beyond the minimum and then it's taking too much. Okay. And the minimum is such that, let's say one unit of alcohol. A unit of alcohol is measured either as a glass of wine, one tot of spirits, or one mini beer. Okay. So all men um, older than 65 years and all women are allowed one unit a day. Men younger than 65 years can take two units a day. So anything more than this is abuse or taking it too much. Okay. So as people tend to be taking alcohol in larger amounts on a regular basis and it's increasing, then you can refer to it as abuse. Yeah, and it goes through several stages. Um, you know, sometimes people, whenever there's a function, whenever there's a social function, they'll bring their own alcohol to add to what is there already. That is a sign that alcohol is being abused. It could get worse when it affects them financially. They spend more money on alcohol. Also, it may affect their relationships. It may affect their job. 
it affects their social status. Sometimes it gets psychological, they tend to get psychological disease. Sometimes it leads to coma, suicide, death. A cross section of the public also gave their take. It depends on how much, how much you, how, I mean, the more how much you take in. Me, for instance, I don't take in much spirit. I take in beer and sometimes a little whiskey. When I'm, if I feel like eating something and I'm not in the mood, like I take in a little whiskey. Onu dani BP emne fi onye fi obu se mo ko yani keji enu dani e naga se ni bi en fi le fen still e inu mo ko yani ni BP gbe na no ande inu oda e kule problems ye se a e kule ngangbe na lo e scarce and ngbe na se na kan ni bi fen solve your problem some campaigners say sanctioning the consumption of alcohol is killing Ghanaians more than the legalization of cannabis could have done, preferring that alcohol beverages be banned in the country. World population experts for some time now have called on citizens to rein in the number of children they produce to ensure that resources meet the needs of people. Birth control, also known as contraception and fertility control, are methods used to prevent unplanned pregnancies. Planning, provision and use of birth control is termed as family planning. Available data shows birth control methods have decreased maternal deaths by 40% in addition to the prevention of 270,000 deaths in 2008. A reproductive health nurse with the Planned Parenthood Association of Ghana explains that although some cultures and religious establishments frown on the use of contraceptives, the benefits of the birth control lure people to adapt any of the options, sometimes doing so secretively. She advised sexually active youth to use condoms and adopt other healthy options to guard against unwanted pregnancy and sexually transmissible diseases. The family planning is not saying you should not have a child, but just to space your children for you to be healthy to have another child, at least between one to three, two years or three years. By then you are healthy, you have, you, you are financially sound, sound uh, physically you are healthy, and then mentally you are healthy. Some women had this to say when asked if they would opt for any birth control measure. Very good. Maybe say me older, but for the look of things, no, she said that we are in the corner and I want to address her now. Family planning is good. If you have a child, you can see the family planning. Okay, you can see the child. You can see the child. You can see the child. Looking at the economy, if you have to give birth to two children, 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 two Although sexually active people have the liberty to choose the number of children they love to produce, the economic realities has led many to reconsider the options available for birth control. Since the latest outbreak of the Ebola virus in Guinea, over 1,000 deaths have been reported. Although countries such as Guinea, Congo, Sierra Leone and Nigeria have confirmed cases, Ghana has been spared an outbreak. The Ebola threat, however, persists considering our porous borders and ill preparation. An interesting question which begs for an answer is what measures trade authorities have put in place to ensure that fruits, vegetables and meat imported into the country are safe in addition to ensuring that Ghanaians who do cross-border business do not unduly infect those they come into contact with. Market women the news team spoke with say they have had to limit the imports they make since the outbreak of the virus. The women say the price and patronage of grass cutter has drastically reduced since the outbreak. They called on citizens to be measured in their fright as their suppliers take the precaution not to prepare already dead animals. <laughs> If you come here, you say the ball and the dia dia. I want you to know me. Do you know your tongue? Need a binia. It's important to have a certain manner. I feel almost I want to move. I just say, don't consider my real bread. 
mampani ya vida and we mu namu na me ya wonde na se be hwe de de yare ne ba anam na ye de ba eni niti nu sa akoko force na di fra bro chire ba ye hu niti da wi an ya wi ba no mu de ba anam ne sada enti ye be hwe se yare no afri nam ne mu a enye wura mu nam jene na be be de fri no amu de fri ni je na ne je so yante se yare ne bi aba o in case ye te se yare ne bi aba ho a asa na be hu de en so ye be na me so de be hu se yare no Yari ano de e nya me pe ne betu ni pe film la na aba no wo mu se wa kranti na mu na kranti na mu so titi 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 no akranti na mu akranti bin akranti bin ye na na no ko fo no de ye duane no ma ye di ye nya ho den na ye se si bo le ya ba kranti na mu ti ye nya ya kranti na mu we akranti na na ye ye nya ho den no na mo mu ye ni ndo mi na aspire no Ah, kabo muna adi nse. Eh, ino mino unua unua nse na wa wa dino. Eno mwe yasi yangu diya no. Ada uko funa ashe fridge mwa adi mfya beso ohano. Eno mwe yasi yeni. Na kranti na mwe unua yadi yabenya huo adi ni kusia na mwe yangu na mwe nampa pebi nudi. Aba fred ada yeni. Eba somo diya na mwe kwa mwe mukawe. Bush meat is a delicacy among Ghanaians who relish dish prepared with grass cutter, deer, antelope, monkey, and porcupine.